understand you're not from a large city area. Are you from a farm or a small town? Small town. Uh, what part of a small town? The so-called good side of the tracks or the other side? The other side. When you say the other side, exactly what do you mean? What was wrong over there? Well, where all the guys get in trouble. I mean, the police were down there all the time? That's right. And you were raised in that particular area, is that right? right? How old were you when you got into what I might ask uh, your first major difficulty? Well, I was 17. I stole a car. I was mad at everybody. So I went uptown and I stole a car. Let's go. 
Ever since 10, 11, glad she made a brethren Then his last dial, seven alligators, seven advocates I have a knock and no answer Slow dancer, hopeless romancer Focus flow stanzas, yes, no villain Metal face to destro, guess so Still incredible, in escrow Just say ho, I'll test the yeah, yo Wild West style fest, y'all best to lay low Hey bro, day glow, set the bet, pay dough Before the cheddar get away, best to get made go The worst hated god who perpetrated art Favors demonstrated in the perforated hard labors And all quad flavors, yeah, large yeah, yeah. savers Still back in the game like Jack LaLanne Think you know the name, don't rack your brain On a fast track to half same Either in a slow beat or that the speed Or at the cane, lack of pain Throwing songs lit in the booth With the best host doing bong hits on the roof In the west coast, he's at it again Mad at the pain, glad that we win A tad fat in a bad hat for men Grind the cinnamon, Manhattan warmongers You can find the villain in satin the van screeches, the old man preaches about the gold sand beaches The cold hand reaches for the old tan Elises Yeah, yeah, yeah Jeez. That's not what's being asked. 
They didn't ask if you're in America lawfully. They asked you a specific question. Are you of your own volition, out of your own mouth, testifying that you are a citizen of the United States operating on the international maritime law? So today, the president of the United States is the president of a privately owned company. Privately owned, out of England. The company is called United States. And the word president is always the word that is used in corporate law. Banks have presidents. And you need to understand words in terms. Because I believe that there is a divine presence in the universe that men call God. And one day that divine presence is going to move on the earth and we're going to see freedom come back to this world. And when it does, you're going to need to understand words in terms and how they have been used to trick you. That's the way that it is, it's 
that next door neighbor to wake up the kids with the, with the boom clap sound clash, then pussy heading for the cat flap, cats chat, clap track, cats clap back, that's true, but truly I ain't in another that, that's you, or well, that's who you claim to rep, you need to rip the next shoes, taking positive steps, I rip streets anywhere that they play my shit, I'm cracking open your skull for a brain to pick, my pain to pick the pain of a plague of men that came to rape the earth and enslave the dead it sounds dramatic break it down it's quite tame because this type of shit happens every day
this concept of nature is God brought us very close to a new kind of scientific pantheism. And this form of nature still prevails among many of our intellectual groups. The scientists became, to a measure, the concept of the new savior or preserver of mankind. The scientists began to take over the attributes of the divinely appointed king and the heavenly blessed priest. Thus progress became the new universal concept of the divine will. Now we find that uh, between about 1925 and 1960, uh, the great religion of science gaining more and more authority in our internal lives. Now this was not necessarily authority demanding. It was authority freely bestowed. And to understand just how freely it has been bestowed, we must consider the story of our young people. Young people today are rising up in an economic industrial system in which science is the principal directing force. The great careers of today are in science. Now we are warned constantly that in education, our young people are not receiving enough science so that they can compete successfully with the rising scientific power of communism, for example. The race is now toward the development of the super scientists. The individual whose life is completely immersed in the wonders of the scientific universe. Now it's not difficult to be captured in this pattern. We only have to observe the extraordinary advancements in many fields of specialization to realize how easily even a reasonably well-integrated human being would become enraptured to develop a strong emotional sense, could have loyalty and patriotism and devotion and dedication to this thing which we call science. It seemed as though it was going to answer all the questions. It seemed as though it was going to give us what we had so long hoped for, and that is physical security. Time, it enabled us to free our minds from certain unfavorable aspects of previous leadership. We can begin to say to ourselves that we are not only free from the despotism of hereditary princes, we are also now free from the dogmatic despotism of theology. We no longer find ourselves limited and restrained intellectually. There is no longer a penalty upon thinking. The individual not only considered himself as addicted to a new and wonderful world, but in many, many ways he compared this new world with the old and found the new world better. This was especially easy, of course, with younger generations had no memory, actually, of the better things of older times. They could only read the atrocities recorded in history. Now, in the midst of this wonderful reintegration around the new concept of value, and in this emancipated world of things, the scientist was a little lost at first, because he really had not expected to inherit either a crown or a tiara. When we say it has fallen apart, we don't mean that it is at the end of its career, or that it can no longer contribute any good to mankind. But as a great image, a great image of man as the mysterious figure of the great god of the future. Science has lost that.
manufacture very rapidly. Today we are confronted with the extremely obvious situation that science is now one of the principal dangers to security and to the survival of our way of life. The good that science can do, we applaud. The mistakes it makes, we begin to see. And the moment we begin to see mistakes, it is like finding feet of clay on our God. This tremendous devotion, this complete and soul rapture with which young people have turned to science. This is breaking down because science is actually failing these young people. In the problem of their own survival, it is giving them a career but not a life. It is given, giving them a job but not a purpose. It is giving them a certain amount of comfort, but they are compensated or penalized by being in the midst of the worst insecurity the world has ever known. Now this leaves us in a rather dilapidated situation. One kind of God after another has failed us. It isn't really, it has never been a God that failed us. It was our concept of that which was important that failed us. We gave far too much power and authority to the Roman Caesars, and Rome paid for this for the loss of the Roman Empire. We gave very much too uh, much devotion and allegiance to the medieval popes, and as a result of that we had the Reformation and the gradual loss of the prestige of theology. We gave too much exaggerated allegiance to science. But now again, we discover that our exaggerations have gotten us into difficulty. We look around us again, and we try to figure out the best we can what kind of a world we live in. More than this, where are we going to turn for directives? Our politicians are not getting any better. Our theologians are not getting any wiser. Our scientists are not getting any more ethical. And our businessmen are not getting much out of anything except money and taxes. This gets to be rather frustrating. But this tremendous struggle, this vast effort that we have made, down through the ages, seems now as though it is to bear little fruit.
flat is like a mountain railway. You don't have no idea what speed he's gonna bitch got his hand on the throttle. for the government. Six months of the effort you put in out of the year. 
goes in taxes. Hidden taxes, sub taxes, taxes on the taxes. You know, you're supporting the government for half the year. We suffer from the longest and one of the worst sustained inflation in our national history. Idle industries cast workers into unemployment, human misery, and personal indignity. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem. We know where the pressure is coming from. We all realize that we don't have to start a revolution and get people hurt, okay? And we don't have to sit back and put up with it. Because the irony is, is that we are paying these people to do this to us. In this present crisis, government is not the solution to our problem. Government is the problem.